Now we get to use one of the more exciting features of this pipeline, and that is using a custom-made avatar to create a morph slider to use on future avatars. Now the way I do this is by saving out my custom characters as an eye avatar. I have a hot rider, mechanic, and a security uh, man that I've made. So what I'm going to do is load each one of them in, and then I'm going to save them out to a location, as I've already done here, as I avatars. Now I'm just going to load the default project up. And we're going to create new morphs using those three avatars. So with this, we're going to go to Create Morph Slider. We're going to put it in the My Morphs folder. You can make that anything you want. And I'm going to call this Mechanic. We're going to leave the default morph. Now we're going to go over to the file and we're going to grab the mechanic. And we're going to hit OK. Now it's made the slider. Now we're going to make another slider. Create Morph Slider. Let's put it in the same place, My Morphs. And let's call this one Hot Rodder. Default Morph. And we're going to pick up the Hot Rodder I Avatar. And now it's creating that slider. Now one more time. And what we're going to do this time is put it in the same place. Oh, this security. There's a security man. Select that. And it creates that slider. Now under My Morphs, we have an existing aging slider that I had already put in there a long time ago. But we also have the hot rod slider, the mechanic slider, and the security slider. Which means that you can go back and reset, go to My Morphs, and get a combination of those sliders. And this is pretty infinite combination here. And you could even use the female aging. But as you can see, there's really not much to it. Uh, anything that you use as a character can eventually be made into a morph slider.